How's it going, everyone? Mike, Rough and Ready Flags. Um, here a while back, I made a video on how to make the AR speed loader, uh, the same file that's on Patriot Nation site. I realized that I didn't go into depth on feeds and speeds, depth per pass, and all that stuff. It was leaving a lot of people confused um, and wondering how the hell did they make this file. So um, I'm making a new video go a little bit more in depth with it and hopefully this answers any and all questions. Stay tuned. So uh, I use white oak. It's a uh, stronger wood. Uh, it's more durable, and it'll uh, won't uh, mess up over time after this thing flewed up. But when you uh, download the file from Patriot Nation, it'll look similar to this. Um, you're going to start out with a stock size of 22 inches by 7 inches, three quarter inch, and my retract height for everything is 1.125. Okay, and I always go to the center, so just personal preference um, so let's start when you get the file you're gonna notice that there's no uh, toolpath set up okay I'm gonna show you exactly how mine are set up and uh, the pattern in which I carve and then we'll start carving but uh, I start out with the base of the push stick what's highlighted red and the bit that I use is an eighth inch end mill. Max depth is 0.41. And here's the feeds and speeds. Go ahead and pause this video if you need to copy this down. And then once that's finished carving, it's gonna move all the way into uh, contouring out the base and the top of the push stick. Again, eighth inch end mill. This time it's 0.76 inches max depth. Here's the feeds and speeds as well. Always on the outside for this entire carve. And here's what it looks like when you get to that point. Notice that I have tabs in there as well so that I don't go flying out. Once this is done, I'll change out my bit. I'll disable these two. And I'll enable these two. <clears throat> the bit that I'm changing out is for a quarter inch end mill. The max depth for that one, for the tracks, is 0.41. There's a the feeds and speeds for that too. Once that's finished carving, it's going to automatically move into the uh, the shape of the AR loader. And again, it's a quarter inch end mill, 0.76, to go, uh, so it cuts it all the way through. Here's the feeds and speeds. And here's what it would look like once complete carved. Obviously missing the hole here and over here. So it's only this outside piece that you're going to be keeping. Now notice that the tracks look like this. That's because this entire slot is going to be flipped and turned upside down. Okay? So once you actually finish carving. Once that's finished, I'll disable these two. I won't have to change out a bit anymore after this, but I will have to change the stock. I'll enable these two, move this file down to the stock grid, and you're gonna be pocketing out with a quarter inch end mill, 0.25 inch depth. And here's the feeds and speeds for that. And then it's going to cut it all out using the same bit 
0.76 inches depth, and here's the feet and speeds for that. Again, always on the outside. And here is what that would look like. Notice the tabs again. So once this is done and the other one is complete, you stack them on top of, it, uh, of each other, glue it up. Like I said, I use uh, four screws, one on each corner uh, during glue up, um, decorate it as you will, and uh, you're done. So let's go ahead and get this thing started and carve. piece already done put this off to the side and I'll put the next stock in the final piece, the base. All right, so once you have everything cut, carved, and good, you just gotta pop them out, and then go ahead and sand them down and, and touch them up. All right, once you have everything sanded down, <clears throat> two push sticks, um, base, top, glue them up. I like to put a, one or two screws in the, on the top, no reinforcement. There's the base, here's the top whenever you carved it, okay? Like I said, you gotta flip it. So when you flip it, it stacks up on top of each other. And now the rail system is towards the bottom, just like so. So decorate it however you want. Um, I personally like to engrave, you know, different things like right here and then up here and all that, different colors. Um, just have fun with it, man. Um, but hopefully this was um, answered a lot of the uh, confusing questions um, that I left out on the first video. I uh, apologize about that. Again, I'm not that best of a uh, videographer, if you will. So, but uh, message me or uh, any of the guys at Patreon Nation um, or anyone else who's actually solved this without the video. Um, just here to help, guys. So, have fun. Stay free. Later.